Stay tuned for the biggest fish, the hottest bites, this week here on In-Depth Outdoors. With James Holst and Pat McSherry and the rest of the IDO fishing team. We're headed to the best fisheries across the upper Midwest and Canada. We'll fish longer, explore unfished bodies of water, and go further off the beaten path in search of the hottest bites in fresh water. Look at that fish. This is In-Depth Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of In-Depth Outdoors. I'm James Holst. This is PJ Vick. And the start of today's show is gonna look a little bit different than normal because we're on a road trip. We're not gonna be back to the studio for a couple of weeks. Uh, for today's show, as promised last week, uh, we're hitting Saginaw Bay, one of our favorite fisheries, one you and I have been jonesing to get oh, out on yeah. now for a couple of years. It's all gonna come together, thanks to this horrible cold front. <laughs> so we're gonna get out on Saginaw Bay tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be chasing down some of the big fish this bay is known for. Of course, we're gonna have to deal with the tail end of the cold front that's rolling through. It's gonna complicate our lives, but if we put things together, chances are you're gonna see some giant fish. So stick around for that, and then next week, we're headed to Lake Erie. In fact, after we're done filming here on Saginaw Bay, three hours south and east, we're gonna go board the mothership. The motherland. <laughs> that there is no better walleye fishery anywhere than the two bodies of water that we're gonna hit back to back. Saginaw Bay this week, Lake Erie next week. For So thanks for tuning in. I think you're gonna love the shows we're gonna have here to share the next couple weeks. Wowza. Another day in paradise. Yeah, it feels like a winter wonderland out here. Let's see how fast we can get that hub set up. Yeah. So, uh, we're out on Saginaw Bay this morning. Me and PJ Vic. Single digit temperatures, pretty stiff wind, and it's supposed to snow most of the day. So, we are gonna spend a good chunk of time today inside the Eskimo. Not sure if we're gonna be able to sneak out later this afternoon. They're talking about maybe a break in the weather, but right now it's, it's not very nice. I do. Heck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he ain't very big, but boy, I tell you what, I earned him. <laughs> oh yeah, very nice bud. Here, fish. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, he is. I think what we've got here are some overfed fish. <laughs> yeah. Operating under cold, high pressure conditions. Because we are just force feeding these fish. Yeah. They are so picky right now, and it, we're second guessing ourselves. We are. I mean, we, we've rifled through um, most everything in the tackle box and what we've come uh, to conclusion is flutter spoons. Mm -hmm. Flutter spoons with that slower fall rate, that, that seems to be the trigger. Going back. Yeah, so you just got hit yep. on a gold back spoon. Mm -hmm perch on the front. Yes. One eighth version. Mm -hmm. I'm fishing the three, three sixteenths. Mm -hmm. So gold on the back, perchy on the front. That's a tingler spoon, three sixteenths of an ounce. Yeah. When we, when we do this pop like that, the, the flutter that ensues, I mean, if you look down your hole when you're doing it, it's just flashy. It looks like a wounded bait fish. So, but what these fish are not doing, they're not in like that active charge the bait mode. I mean, typically a fish would come on your flasher, you'd be above them, and you'd start to do the pull away game, right? And the fish mm -hmm. would rise up, you'd get excited, and then you start to let the fish catch up. Fish grab oh, the hook. They want nothing to do with that right now. If you pull that bait away, they basically just wave it goodbye. Got one charging up to me. Down he goes. Oh, he's coming back. Got him. Awesome. Got him. 
Oh, 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 oh. That was... PJ, you make hook sets fun again. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? That's a nice fish, too. You want some help? Yeah. Going crazy down there. He looks looks pretty good, bud. That thing just woofed good. that bait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice one. I'm just going to slide. Heck yeah. Slide your little fat buddy up here. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. The one without the hook. <laughs> Very nice. Probably a 22, yep. I would say. And fat. And fat, yeah. Yeah, so um, we're on the pattern. Yeah. Finally, after rifling through all the baits in the tackle box, this is it. Well, and I think there's that is very true, but I think the weather is starting to turn a little bit, right? Yeah. We have had just horrible cold. Yeah. You know, this afternoon it's warming a little bit. Tomorrow gets even warmer. I think we're kind of starting to come out of that horrible cold front. Right. Yeah, and what was our pressure when we checked before? 30.3 something something. Three. 30.38, I believe it was. <laughs> right. <laughs> if you watch the barometric pressure at all, that is not good fishing. <laughs> no, that's no bueno. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, get that one back. There we go, bud. Off you nice. go. That one's happy. At Eskimo, we have the tools to help you enjoy your time on the ice. We say a man needs food, clothing, and shelter. When it comes to shelter, we like the Outbreak 450i with its full-size no-trip door that's nearly 74% bigger than a standard door, making it much easier to load and unload. With 75 square feet of fishable area, you'll be warm and comfortable during your day on the ice. Check out the Outbreak 450i and our full line of products at GetEskimo.com. From the first time you pick up a tuned up custom rod, you'll know you're holding something special. A rod not mass produced, but built one at a time by the hands of gifted craftsmen. Rods like the Precision, ice fishing's most versatile multi-species rod, or the Precision Noodle with a tip so sensitive you'll never fish a spring bobber again. And the Commander, the rod that's never met a big fish it couldn't best. Tuned up custom rods, ice rods handcrafted for you and the way you fish. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters in Walker, Minnesota has the hottest products for ice fishing at unbeatable prices. Everything from ice electronics, ice shelters, and ice clothing from all the top brands. And the newest lithium-powered augers with special everyday pricing on the Garmin LifeScope Ice Bundle. Whether you're visiting us in Walker, Minnesota or placing an order online at reedsports.com, our state-of-the-art distribution center ensures you'll get your order fast. Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitters offers the best service, best price, best advice, guaranteed. So now I think the big test is we've got it wiggled down to you know, Ooh, pattern. One. Yeah, it's right on me. Yep. We've got it narrowed down to pattern. We've got to figure out if it's the 8th or the 316th. Right. Want. Right. Ooh, that thing lunged on you. Yeah, I'm does. able to see your bait off of my locator. Oh, there he is. Got him. Yeah, buddy. It's not a big fish, boys. No. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to get rid of that transducer. Anyways. I appreciate that a great deal. <laughs> That's cool. I'm a big fan of this fish, but he is not going to uh, make the magazine cover by any means. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. This is an excellent Saginaw Bay Walla, another 21, 22. Take those all day long. Yep. He just threw water <laughs> right in water my eye. eye. Well played. <laughs> <clears throat> Super nice fish. We'll get some really good uh, video of the flasher so you can see what we're doing. Get those fish to come in, we're jigging kind of normal. And as soon as they come in, what we're not doing is what we always talk about, which it's is to away. pull the bait yeah. away. Yeah. That's not working at all, to no. the point where we just weren't catching fish at all. Right. This is definitely the pop and drop right to back where you started. Let that bait flutter. And even if that fish is sitting right there, you put it right in their face every time. That is not a super chunky fish. It's that healthy. It's, it's, yeah, probably yeah. a male, maybe. Male, yeah. I mean, pretty hard to tell, but yeah. full of it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. And th this school is a very nice school of fish. This yeah. has been very consistent. Now. Well, you made the point earlier. Basin yeah. fishing is always feast or famine. As long yeah. as you're, you know, contacting fish, at least every five minutes. You yeah. should have fish coming in. If not, you need, you need to readjust. If you're waiting, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes for each contact with a fish and only, you know, a one out of every five, six bite, mm -hmm. that's not gonna work. No, <laughs> that's, no. The, that's not enough active biters 
uh, and enough contacts by the end of the day to you know have a really good day. Yeah. But you know, very often you move an eighth of a mile or a quarter of a mile, nothing changes. So to to us on top of the ice, we think, well, we're moving, but we're not moving to a piece of structure. Nothing's changing about where we're going to. But there's always a reason why the fish will concentrate in any one area. So yeah. obviously you want to get on top of the school. Um, and then very often it just comes down to, you, you were doing it earlier. Yeah, one of my favorite methods for this, for this basin fishing, is quarter mile increments, move, fish at 10 minutes. The only thing that gets out of the snowmobile, the auger, my rod, and my locator. Yep. If I ain't marking what I want to mark. 10 minutes. I'm out. Got a quarter mile. So, you know, you look at that and a guy can cover a lot of water as long as he sticks to that program. Got him. Yes. Yeah. Good job, bud. Thank you. I was watching that go down. It's like just when that was about to bottom out on each flutter, that fish would lunge. Ooh, that looks like a better fish. I'm thinking so. Oh, yeah. There you go. Excellent. Thank you, sir. Oh, yeah, very nice. <laughs> I love it. I, I might have to upsize <laughs> to that quarter ounce. I got a whole bag of them, buddy. Hang on. That Good one. Fish. <laughs> I, I'm not going to give myself too much credit because the, you know, the fish decides what's going on. But one of those where you work a fish that long yeah. and you're just looking for the rhythm. Come on, buddy. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. <laughs> <laughs> for whatever reason, that's very rewarding. Yeah. What do I do with my... My hemos. Oh, there they are. They're hanging off the sides. Yeah, wa watching that fish lunge at it almost every single rip that you did was pretty entertaining. Very nice fish. The average size here, Saginaw Bay, super. I mean, that is pretty much, I'm not going to say the bottom end. You'll catch smaller fish than that, but that is so common here. Eight fish limit, no, you know, no size breakdown on them. Uh, there's no slot, I guess is what I should say. So, great fish, firing it back. Good job. Nice. Look at that. I already found one. I'm that quick. <laughs> I'm pretty good at keeping lots of colors that are good, like uh, Minnesota colors, right? right. That right. is a really good Minnesota color. Yeah. And guess what? Clear bodies of water, right? Yeah. We got a lot of those, so. Yep. All right. I need a minnow. Thanks for the uh, transducer pull. Yeah, no I problem. appreciate that. Introducing the new Pro Suit Jacket and Bibs from Strike Master. Built for the coldest, toughest conditions, the Pro Suit features a ripstop polyester outer shell that is as comfortable as it is durable. A puff liner jacket adds both warmth and versatility, while integrated SOS stay on surface flotation provides up to two hours of flotation when the jacket and bibs are worn as a pair. Strike Master, the hottest brand on the ice. Okuma Fishing Tackle offers a complete lineup of reels for the die-hard ice angler. The Okuma Samar 10 and Inspira 20 are a perfect match with your favorite panfish or walleye ice fishing rod. Both feature a long stem handle that fits comfortably in a gloved hand. Cyclonic flow rotor technology that throws water off the reel to minimize ice buildup. And a drag system optimized for use in extreme conditions. Everywhere, every day, every fish. Okuma Fishing Tackle is inspired fishing. Does your sonar offer dual spectrum chirp, producing razor sharp images on an ultra bright HD display? The ability to tailor the display to the way you fish. Precision GPS functionality with legendary Lake Master mapping to move effortlessly from ice to open water. If not, you should be fishing an Ice Helix, the electronic system that offers all the features and performance successful ice anglers demand, only from Humminbird. Suffix Advanced Mono is now on ice. Our toughest and most sensitive mono, Ev, offers 50% less stretch than standard monofilaments. That means your hook sets are rock solid with virtually no line memory, no matter how cold the conditions. The line you choose is your direct connection between you and your next big bite. With Suffix, there's nothing you can't catch. Always use the best line. This winter, choose Suffix Advanced Ice Monofilament, the mono that thinks it's a braid. Hey, PJ? Yep. I got one. Right. It's, a, it's a pretty good one. Dude, okay. that fish, I was literally mid-change of hands. Oh, 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 oh. I seen you. 
It looked like a move that I might make, actually. <laughs> You're rubbing off on me, bud. <laughs> the over the head. Side right? Look at that nice one. Fish. Look at that one. Oh, yeah, Get it up here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> so you ask yourself, why do you drive all the way to Saginaw? <laughs> a couple of goofballs Oop. like us can show up here, catch some super nice fish. Look yeah. at that. That's a, a fistful. Heck yeah. And uh, absolutely no style points on the hook set. <laughs> it was pretty awesome, actually. Well, I got a little chuckle out of it. <laughs> what a fish. Yeah, that is a fatty. Come look at this. I mean, I went to back reel right away, yeah. and if I had pushed on that fish at all, I mean, it's just the tiniest little boop, nothing there. Just a little scrapper. That's a beauty. That's a, that is. That's a fat 26, 27 inch fish. Yeah. Fat. I think a lot of the uh, uh, ones we've caught earlier were males. That's definitely a, a female there. So I'm gonna gonna get her back. Pretty happy about that one. <laughs> All right. Look at that thing. They are such cool fish. <laughs> yes. Um, that one deserves one of them for sure. Oh. That's oh, here's here comes one. Your turn. Come on, buddy. How stinking cool is that? No, that was a beautiful fish, man. You and I had a great trip here a couple years ago. Last yeah. year didn't work out. Yeah. And you know, we're just like anybody else, right? We talk about where we want to go and talk about great trips, about, you know, that bucket list kind of stuff. And yeah. as soon as the ice started to form here, it was like satellite imagery back and forth every day between oh, yeah. the two of us. Oh yeah, I, I, I have watched more weather, wind forecasts, satellite imagery than most normal human beings yes I think, ever would. <laughs> and it's paying off yeah you know uh, we're, we're here I think people have been out fishing maybe less than a week yeah. for sure right yeah so for guys that live well I live 12 hours away mm -hmm. that's getting here pretty quick yeah. you know it took us a couple days to kind of rally the troops and get everything pulled together but yeah. as soon as we knew guys could get out here on a machine because you know we're what nine miles offshore Ten? I, I think we're actually close to 11 on this. Oh, that's one, right, because so, we, we, yeah. we moved a little bit further. Yep. yep. This is not the pl kind of place you're going to walk out or drag out by foot no. and get where you need to go, right? So uh, we had to make sure that there was enough ice for machine travel and uh, waited a couple extra days, and, and here we are just mm -hmm. fishing a big basin. It's not like there's some secret piece of structure you got to know. No. You, you got to get to the right depth. And uh, of course, these fish are real snooty, so it's just kind of putting together that pattern, finding the right spoon color, yeah. then the cadence and it's all starting to come together now. Absolutely. Oh my. Oh, there oh, we yeah. go. You see that thump? <laughs> Somebody had to get one. <laughs> that was just craziness. Yeah, we were playing with at least three fish there. Whoop. Nice. Yeah. Heck yeah. Man, it is this, excellent. This is your classic video game for walleyes right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got him. You got him. I got him. <laughs> it's my day. Got it. Yeah, buddy. Heck yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Give me that fistful. Man, that's a long one. Yeah, it is. Got him. Yes. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Little nicer fish, maybe? Yeah, it feels nice. Feels real All nice. Right, I'm going to get mine up on out of there. Oh, yeah. A little drag pulling, hey. I just caught a glimpse of it. I just saw its oh, head just nice really mad. <laughs> it's it's not as big as yours, but it's a, it's one of them good ones. Yes, sir. Heck, yeah. <laughs> the walleye scoop for you. Well done. <laughs> Very nice. Come here, man. These fish have been fired up when you get them on the hole today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. That one was the, the little cap mm -hmm. with the light little pop. So the, the, the big pop in the flutter has kind of transitioned this afternoon where it's that smaller pop and a, a little bit We've of We've had some sun for a while and now it's really getting cloudy again. So I don't yeah. know if that's had something to do with it. Yeah, they're good. Very nice fish. Oh, if you go, bud. Happy. Bye bye. All right. Well, that worked. Nutty. <laughs> 
Randall GM in Aiken, Minnesota's only haggle-free Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC dealer, is a proud sponsor of In-Depth Outdoors TV. Our Brandle value price ensures that you don't have to spend your entire day haggling to get a great deal. And every new vehicle comes with our exclusive gimmick-free lifetime powertrain warranty. Whether you're in need of service, sales, parts, or body shop repair, stop by our state-of-the-art facility in Aiken or visit us 24-7 at BrandleGM.com. With the release of the Tungsten Bullfly Jig from BMC, your panfish presentation just got buggier. By creating a spot-on invertebrate imitator destined to fool the most wary panfish, the Tungsten Bullfly Jig is available in nine colors to further accommodate today's angling, including four metallic finishes and five ultra-glow colors, which hold a charge up to 15 minutes. This winter, match the hatch and outsmart the most finicky panfish with the BMC Bullfly Jig. Glacial Lakes Dock is now Glacial Lakes Recreation. Located in Starbuck, Minnesota, we offer the same great location, staff, and service with a new name to better fit our ever-expanding business. As an authorized dealer and service center for Yeti and now Alumalite Ice Houses, we have you covered if you're looking for a new house or just need a little service. Stop in today or check us out online at glaciallakesrec.com and make this ice season your most enjoyable and comfortable ever. Got him. Oh, right on. <laughs> <laughs> There's just a pile of them down there right now. I'm going through my color spectrum here, yeah. bud. What you got on there now? Well, I've got that uh, silverbacked, like a more natural perch. Natural they call perch? it the yellow perch, right? Okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Uh, well, that's what I've tried. I've caught fish on everything but the, the red one. The red yeah. shiner, no bueno. They didn't, they didn't like that one. Nope. Eh? Oh, yeah. Yep. That'll do. Heck yeah. That'll do. <laughs> I'm telling you, tough conditions. Uh, really windy right now. And it's just been blowing up different little fronts. We were actually able to get outside and do a little fishing for a little while. PJ caught a couple fish, one on an iFish Pro, mm -hmm. one on a jig rod. That didn't last very long. Oh man, right down in the corner. There we go. I suppose that's that 19, 20 inch range. Yeah. Just super awesome average size here. We're firing fish back today because after this, we're going to Lake Erie. Heck yeah. And my guess is we're gonna take some fish home there. Yeah. So, uh, knowing that we're gonna travel about three mi or three hours further in the wrong direction, it didn't make sense for us to keep fish today. So I do expect to go home with some nice fish fillets from Lake yeah. Erie, which, I'm you know, forward to that. at the risk of counting chickens, <laughs> it should happen. It's, yeah. Yeah, if, there, if there's one place where we, we visit uh, that should be a pretty sure bet, it's Lake Erie. So that one, 3 16 ounce, it's the exact same pattern, exact same spoon. That's the yellow perch pattern, a little bit different in that it's got that silver back. I think what I'm doing here is I'm just rifling through colors. I've got kind of my uh, tackle wall here. I've caught some fish on everything except for that red shiner. And just give me some time, I'll figure it out. <laughs> one of those deals. <laughs> There he is. He just glommed onto it. I figured one of us was going to get him. <laughs> this is a 38 inch tuned up custom rod commander. Ah, nice. nice fish. And we got that paired up with the Helios size 20 reel. Um, perfect setup for this Great Lakes fish. My favorite. Get that one back. Um, we, we've just been rifling through colors and you know, they'll, they'll turn their nose up for a little while, put on something new. Either it's the one or it's a bust, and then... <laughs> it'll, it'll drive you nuts trying to figure out why a particular school chooses a particular color. Yeah. If you get two, three, four fish that come in, they snub you, it's just time to switch. Yeah. And why they'll hit one bait versus not, you know, just ignore another, yeah. who knows. There's really no pattern to that whatsoever. Got it. You got him? You got him. <laughs> I had to switch colors again. Yep. Glow goldfish. Glow goldfish, eh? Oh. Thank you. Gotcha. Good work, sir. Yes. That might. Well, he's pretty close to that 20 mark. I'm not yeah. going to measure him, but 
that could quite possibly be our smallest fish today. That's awesome. To which is that. winning. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that one was back to the twitch, pop, just put it right back in his face. Mm -hmm. Twitch, pop, put it right back in his face. Excellent. Yeah. All right. See you later, fish. Goodbye. Sweet. There he is. Oh. Heck yeah, James. That's a better fish. Yeah. He's got the last light action going on. Heck ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish, bud. Nice fish. <laughs> yes. Oh. Look at that. Heck yeah. That's hey. all a 24. There's a spoon in there. It's Gandhi. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Come here, you. All right. Holy smokes. I think it hit it twice. I think I missed the first missed hit. First I hit. think it up hit, and then there was a little weight, and then then I set the hook. That's a big fish. Oh, man. Like all of them have been. Heck yeah. How about them apples? Past sundown now. Yeah. And of course, the water clarity is just phenomenal. Yeah. So, yep. what's going on? I got fish down there. <laughs> Catch that fish. <laughs> all right, we're going to fire that one back. Just a great, great fish. Fat, healthy. And feeding after dark out it's here small. on Saginaw Bay. Goodbye. So that brings us to the end of today's show. Uh, conditions out there were tough, but we put it together. We made it happen. Yep. Some great fish. Um, you know, these Great Lakes walleyes, they're, they're a puzzle. Um, there's so many fish, but they move around so much. And then once you find them, really only half the game has been solved, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and you got to figure out that day, that minute, that moment what these fish are all about, what it's going to take to you know, trip that trigger. And I think we did that. Uh, got some great fish on the ice, actually in the, in the Eskimo. Yeah. For most of the day, it was brutally cold. Not a lot of fun out there. So uh, we're off to Lake Erie. We're going to drop this footage here. We're going to make the UPS guy deliver it. And we're going to continue trucking down to uh, Port Clinton on Lake Erie, where we hope to uh, we'll get this cold front behind us and we'll get these fish even more jacked up, I hope and uh, produce some of the biggest walleyes for season 15 here at In-Depth Outdoors. So thanks for watching from PJ, Vic and I. We'll see you next week. For more info on the latest fish reports, gear recommendations and hottest techniques, connect with us online at indepthoutdoors.com or follow us on Facebook at In-Depth Outdoors. And if you enjoyed today's show, be sure to let our sponsors know.